Alright, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? This is um, a shot of menace. I want to welcome y'all back to Empowering Preeminence Multimedia Productions. You understand? Um, I want to just, once again, cut right to the chase. Um, I think this, as a matter of fact, this is part three. Pardon me. About the woman's job. You understand? Part of the woman's job is to make the chase. Um, I explained it in my first two, uh, first two parts of the video that the reason why it's significant that the woman has to make the chase is because like, to, because like, like I said, you know, we are their providers. You understand? Um, we, we, we are, we are their safe haven. You understand? We are their, uh, we, we are their shelter. We are their place of refuge. You understand? Uh, something that you know these white devils um particularly in 1712 with the Willie Lynch letter uh try to take um try to take action into implicating a role reversal to a point where the woman takes upon a dominant role she wears the pants and the black man wears the capris and the skirt so to speak you understand and that right there is unfortunate because you know rather people whether people believe on um, believe that Willie Lynch actually existed because for some reason there's debate among conscious people and some Israelites on whether or not that Willie Lynch was an entity if Willie Lynch didn't really exist as an individual white man we know that it was a white man's plan all along in 1712 to, to, to push forth this agenda that has worked it really it really really has worked um there's a reason why these white devils you know was guilty of buck breaking the black man and what they would do is they take the strongest black man of all the all the existing black slaves and they will sodomize that black man it, it, you know it was it was for entertainment what they would do is they would, they would gather the black man's family uh the wife of course and the children and they they sodomize this black man the strongest black man, the most dominant black man, they emasculated him by having sex with him to really install upon the minds of the wife and especially the children that I took I took your greatest warrior and, uh, and, and all it took was a gun to the head and a rob to the behind. You understand? Penis to the behind. That's all it took. So now this white devil, this faggot, got Jif and Skippy Dick. And he's out just stunned about that deal. You see what I'm saying? And I'm saying it to say that that is how significant, that is how important, that is how pertinent the black man is the black man is so powerful the black man is so preeminent to a point where these white devils saw it fit to sexual cohabitate with the same sex the black man against his concordance against his agreement just to let them just to let the woman and child know hey look let this be a lesson to you. For now on, you better be docile. Especially to you, nigga boy. How old are you, what? You 10, 11 years old? All right, when you turn 17, 18, I want you to remember what happened this day. You understand? And I need you to be docile for me. Because if you if you try to take upon the role of precedence, the role of dominance, I'm gonna make sure that I fuck the shit out you too, nigga boy. And that's why the white man's a faggot, he's a devil. Even to this day. 
You heard me? Because they know that the black man is the most uh, prominent threat of all races of people. That's why, that's why my name is my shop, The Menace. Because I know I'm a menace. And the proof of that is the way Facebook keep blocking me all the damn time. Every time I say something, what you're doing is against community standards. What you're doing is against community standards. Uh, Facebook does not tolerate the violation of community guidelines to where you, you know, spit and hate speech towards homosexuals and all that deal, or towards another race of people and all that deal. But it's funny though, because every time I say nigga in I G G A, I don't, I don't get, I don't get that same energy. I'm not a recipient of that same energy. You heard me? I'm just not. I don't get the. I just, I just don't get the, uh, the, the 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 simultaneous vibration. Only when I talk about white people, or when I talk about homosexuals, especially. That that's when they give me, as they say, the third degree. That's when they give me grief. So you know the white man is not fair and balanced. Because, because there's, there's no such thing as a white man being balanced. He's a, he's a walking abomination to the most high. He is falsely balanced. You understand? And once again, I say all that to, 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 to prove my point on why it's important for the woman to make the chase. Because we men are that valuable. The white man knows how valuable how valuable the black man is. He he made a public spectacle to make sure that he drills into your head that your black warrior, the most dominant man on the field and whatnot, man, he has been compromised. You understand? That little white dick has compromised this big black man. So if you ever try to jump stupid again. I'm going to make sure this happened to you and then some. Twice as worse. Thrice as worse. I'm going to make sure this right chill happens to you. You heard me? It's just that simple. The black man is the most prominent, preeminent threat in the history of civilization. Especially in the history of the new world. Owned by Edomites, dominated by Edomites. I do me a domination. I do me an Edomite supremacy. You understand? That's why I'm trying so hard to amalgamate white supremacy along with black pa- black matriarchy. Cause those two, they like peas in the pot. It's meant to just destroy black patriarchy. And yes. I'm a patriarchal radicalist, and I'm never ever gonna apologize for that job. I'm pro patriarchy, bro. I'm anti matriarchy. I'm a pat- I'm a patriarchal radicalist. I'm a patriarchal extremist. You heard me? Believe that job. Because the God I serve is a patriarchal extremist. Everything goes to the Father. You are what your Father is. I know people will disagree with that. You understand? But if you read Genesis chapter um was it chapter five, it goes from ten generations from Adam to Noah. You heard me? And even the book of Jubilees. Cause yes, I deals with the book of Jubilees. Now the book of Jubilees, you heard me. Um chapter two, verse twenty-three, it says there were twenty-two chief men. From Adam until Jacob. I'm going to read that one more time. There were 22 chief. When you think about chief, you think about the most uh, prominent position of power for man to have. You understand? 22 paramount men, patriarchy, patrilineage, paternal bloodline, paternal lineage, from Adam until Jacob. The book of St. Matthew chapter um, chapter 1, it deals with patrilineage. 
The Book of St. Luke chapter 3, it deals with patrilineage. You heard me? The Book of First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 1 verse 1, it deals with patrilineage. You understand? The Book of First Chronicles chapter 23 verse 14, it deals with particularly the patrilineage of Levi. You heard me? So most I put emphasis on paternal bloodline, patrilineage, patriarchy. Alright? We are that valuable. We're not saying that you women are not valuable at all. We're saying that you're not equivalent in value as we are. That's the truth. But you are valuable. You are needed. You are definitely needed. You understand? And I'm telling you, I know you'll probably get this a lot. I'm telling you this in love, man. I'm not, I, nigga, I'm serious. This is love right chill. I'm telling you that you are to make a pursuit towards that principal leader. Because I do love y'all. And as disgusting as y'all black women have been for years, decades, and some centuries too. Centuries too. I still would never sell y'all for a white woman. You understand? Or a Spaniard. You heard me? Or, um. <clears throat> Or a Chinese woman, you understand? Or an Ar a Arabic woman? I would never do that, though. I just can't do it. No matter how disgusting y'all black women have been, I just can't do it. You understand? There is no. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all the dominant. Y'all are of the dominant race. The super chocolate melanin, looking like freaking Hershey syrup. Looking that sexy, looking that fire. How can a man turn that down? Unless she was malicious. Then it's a different story. Which is which is one of the reasons why you got brother like Mike Coulter running to white women. You understand? The reason why Kanye West ran to Kim Kardashian. And, and, and he's he, and he's supposed he's supposed to know that we Hebrew Israelites. I seen that video he did at some kind of gathering. Talking about some twelve tribes of Judah, instead of twelve tribes of Israel. We Hebrew Israelites, four hundred years is about to is about to be up. Y'all seen that? He knows who we are, man. But he's been took. You heard me? I love you, black women, to, to see that y'all have been very very disgusting. But that does not mean there is not room for redemption. There's always room for redemption. Y'all just y'all just refuse to be a part of that circle. That's my main beef with y'all. There's there's always room for redemption. You understand? Take the freaking chance. The doors are open. You understand? Let yourself in. Invite yourself. Take the freaking shot. Take the shot. If I'm if I'm being double or triple team in a basketball game, and you wide open and you got a sweet jumper, don't be afraid to shoot. Take the freaking shot. Or better yet, if nobody's occupying the paint, take the ball to the rim and create and convert a high percentage jump shot. Take the shot. You follow me? Like I said, it's all love, man. It's all due respect. You understand? Nobody effing with the black woman. I'm saying this right here now. I'm going to say it, man, to the day I perish. I love you, black woman. I really freaking do. You understand? But damn, man. Y'all have some serious work to do, bruh. 
some moral cleansing. You understand? Not ethnic cleansing, ethnic cleansing. Clean yourselves up, man. You understand? And you men out there, you know, don't be a burden to them. You understand? Be the leadership vessel. Be the leading vessel. Escort them into righteousness. Escort them into redemption. Escort them into penitence. Escort them, escort them into reformation and restoration. Michael Jackson said, make that change. You understand? I'm going to end by saying this. Make that chase. You heard me? For that, Shalom. <laughs>